All right. Welcome back, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to another BFIT Live program. Here's your Motivational Monday workout. I hope you are ready to go because we have a combination of cardio-based movements and resistance-based movements for today. All right. Before we jump into the program and the timing, first, we'll get settled in here. Grab your towel. Grab your water. Welcome in once again as I pull you up on my screen. Um, let us know where you're joining us from, okay? Let us know where you're joining us from. Drop us a note in the comments below and uh, let us know how you're doing, how your goals are doing, how your weekend was. Um, again, and, and look to encourage all of our BFIT family along with our workout here. So as I mentioned, um, welcome back to our BFIT live program. All right, team. Um, Let's get started with the uh, the timing for today, team. If you're if you're new to our BFit Live workouts, these are workouts that can be accomplished anywhere, whether you're in a gym setting or a home setting. Um, you know, this these movements are are scaled and they're uh, available to you um, whenever you need, and also whenever you need them. Okay, team. So again, uh, cardio and resistance based movements for today. Uh, the timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, um, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. All right, team, once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round, team. All right. Well, before we get started, I'd like to introduce my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing, ma'am? How are you doing? Hey, good morning. I'm well. So we have a new addition. Um, we do. And she doesn't understand quite how the computer works yet. So she likes to jump on it. So we'll see if we can avoid disruption, but we'll see how it goes. Otherwise, it's too long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was wondering what happened. So there we go. We have a new guest with us uh, on Simon Barry's uh, side. So this should be an exciting workout for, for everyone around over here on our team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will be uh, we will begin. So the way we're going to work for today after that timing instruction, we'll all jump into demos. Uh, that way you'll know exactly what these movements look like before we get to them within our 20 minute, 30 minute, uh, just under 20 minutes of a workout. Uh, we'll go through some dynamic stretching. That way we can get prepared, ready to work, warmed up, and then we'll set our timer and we're off and working. All right, team. So let's start off with demos for today, okay? If you have any resistance, if you have any dumbbells that you're available, uh, have access to, go ahead and grab those now, um, scale up uh, and challenge yourself as needed. Um, if you have anything with the handle that can add some sort of resistance, uh, our body doesn't know that they are not dumbbells. So if we can add any resistance with any type of uh, item as well, go ahead and grab that if you uh, need, but we can always scale back to where, uh, <laughs> to where we do not need any dumbbells at all. All right, but let's go off with uh, demos real quick. All right, so movement number one, all right? Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna go into a split squat with a press, okay? That's gonna be 20 seconds on one leg and then 20 seconds on that opposite leg. All right, so let's start off, let's go right leg forward here. All right, team, right leg forward into that static split squat, if you will, that static lunge, you're gonna have a dumbbell in the opposing leg because we are going to press up. So if my right leg is forward, my left leg has the weight. My right arm is out to counterbalance for me right here. I'm gonna drop down into a lunge with that weight loaded up into that shoulder press. Once I extend back up, I'm into an overhead press. Control that weight back down. As I lower, knee hovers the floor and my right knee is tracking in that 90 degree bend, okay? So think about that 90 degree bend. Think about your knee tracking over that front of that toe as you push those hips back and down and then up into an overhead press. Okay, 20 seconds on one side. Then we are going to alternate legs. So my left leg is forward, my right leg is back. My right hand has the weight. I'm down into a uh, split squat and then into an overhead press. Okay, split squat, overhead press for 20 seconds on each leg and each arm. That's going to be movement number one. Sticking with one dumbbell as well, we're going to go into plank pulls. So we are going to go down onto the floor here into our high plank position. All right, team. As always, we want to make sure that our form on our high plank position is nice and strong. So we want to stack our hands underneath our shoulders and our foot placement is shoulder width apart. From here, 
We're going to take our right hand, grab our dumbbell, and just slide it over outside of our shoulder width apart with our hands at chest level. All right. And go ahead and do the opposite or the opposite with our left hand, left hand and right hand. And we're going to alternate with those plank pulls. All right. The goal here is to keep our core nice and tight, right? We're going to feel some activation in our glutes, our obliques, our glutes, our hamstrings, and our shoulders with those plank pulls. Okay, team, if we do not have any dumbbells, let's go into that high plank position and let's tap our hips, okay? Alternate hand to opposite hip, all right? So right hand to left hip, left hand to right hip. And as always, if we need to scale down, let's go to our knees into that plank position and we can still move that dumbbell from left to right with those plank pulls. All right, that's movement number two. Then we are gonna grab another set of weight here because we have sumo squats with a bicep curl, all right? With those sumo squats, we wanna make sure and take a nice wide stance. So wider than shoulder width apart, wider than your squat foot placement, all right? Shoulder width apart, your toes are flaring outward just a little bit, all right? Goal here, pushing those hips back and down as we have our dumbbells and our palms facing outward here, all right? We're only gonna hinge at our elbows with those bicep curls at the very top of the movement. So we are controlling that weight and that chest level down into that squat, sumo squat, and then up into a bicep curl, right? A little two for one action here for a sumo squat to activate our lower glutes and then a bicep curl at that very top position. All right, note that our chest is gonna stay up nice and proud as we drop down nice and comfortably, all right? To your comfort level here, to your comfort level is where I want the bottom of your movement to end, all right? Wherever that may be. So sumo squat with a bicep curl for movement number three. And the last and final movement here, number four, a little core activation as well as lower body activation um, <clears throat> also. So we have a four point hold with an alternate leg kickback. All right, so what that's gonna look like is we're gonna get into our four point stance. As always, our hand is gonna stack underneath our elbow, just like our high plank position. From here, shoulder width apart on our, our feet. Our knees are gonna stack and stay underneath our hip. All right, so hands underneath shoulders, on our toes here, knees underneath hips. From here, we're gonna extend one leg out for that kickback, you're gonna feel that activation in your glute, and then come back to starting position with your knees underneath your hips. Nice compact movement here. Right leg kicks out, left leg stays underneath our hip, and then we are right back to starting. So we have 40 seconds of a four point hold with a leg kickback, okay team? If we, um, we need to scale back a little bit, let's remove the kickback and hold in that four point hold, okay? And if this feels a little discomforting for us, let's go down into a low plank hold right here, okay? That's gonna be our, those are gonna be our three options right there for movement number four, all right? Nice, strong core activation to really activate that midsection. All right, team, how does that sound? <laughs> Stacy, Stacy, thanks for joining us all the way from Luke Air Force Base. I see us over there, over in Phoenix, all right. <laughs> All right, Sergeant Barry, looks like we are ready to go. All right. <laughs> okay, let's go into our dynamic stretching. That way we know, uh, that way we can get our bodies ready to work here, team. So dynamic quad stretch is what we're gonna do up first. We're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it back. That left arm goes up towards the sky, really feeling that stretch in your hip flexor, in your quad, and then in your shoulder, mid to upper back as well. So let's go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg to your pace, to your tempo, to your comfort. Really scanning our body here, really seeing where we're tight. It can be a little quicker than ours. You can sit in to the movement a little longer if needed. Each of these will do it for about 30 seconds. 30 seconds worth of a dynamic stretch here on each movement. All right, team. Reverse lunges with an overhead reach. All right, top of our workout space here, we're gonna take that right or left leg Right leg extended back, right arm gets extended over to our left side, feeling that stretch in your lats. Come back up to standing, reverse lunge. Left leg goes back, left arm reaches over. Nice strong reach 
Control that movement going down and stretching out our back, our lats, feeling that stretch <clears throat> and some movement into our quads, our hamstrings, our glutes, right? Really getting them fired up and activated and prepared to work. Last two, last one for me here. Good team, let's go into that lateral lunge here. Lateral lunge, our feet are gonna be fixed forward. Toes are gonna be fixed forward actually. We are gonna shift our weight to the left and to the right. You can feel that opening up our hips, feeling some blood flow going into our lower body as well as feeling that stretch in the inner part of your thigh, right? Nice controlled movement here, keeping our chest up as we lateral lunge over to the left and to the right. Really controlling this movement here, feeling that stretch, almost as if you were stretching to the left and to the right here. Nice inner thigh work. <clears throat> Good, last two, last one. All right, team, let's go into hinge reaches. A little bit of a lower back movement here. Lower back warm up just to kind of round us out here. Feet are shoulder width apart. As always, soft bend at those knees. You wanna extend both hands up and our thumbs are facing behind us. From here, pushing those hips back, hinging at those hips and just coming up to a 45 degree angle and then extending right back up team, all right? Nice bend here, hinging at the hips and extending back to standing position, all right? Keeping that core nice and tight. Once again, thumbs facing the back of the room here. Arms are straight up. Really bringing those hips forward, back to standing, activating your glutes as well, right? Really squeezing at the top. Last three, last two, last one. All right, team, we should be good to go, all right? We are gonna start the timer on my end and then we will get into some work here. <laughs> Hope everybody had a great weekend. Here's to Monday, here's to starting off our workout nice and strong. If you, uh, all we ask is that you give us all of your effort here for each movement, all right? Stay hydrated, grab that towel, grab that water, stay hydrated, grab that one pair, one dumbbell actually for movements number one and two. Grab those now, we'll start the timer and let's get ready to work. 10 seconds here, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, five seconds, we have that split squat with the press. My right foot is forward, my left leg is back. My left hand has the dumbbell. I'm squatting down, lunging down, and then into that overhead press. 30 seconds on one leg. I'm sorry, 20 seconds on one leg and 20 seconds on that opposite leg. So five more seconds here, and we're gonna alternate legs. Three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and switch. I'm in my right hand with my dumbbell. My left foot is forward dropping that rear knee down. My chest is up nice and proud. Good, last six seconds here. Our hand can be out for counter, can be on our hip as well too. Last one and time. 20 seconds of rest here. We are dropping to the floor here for those plank pulls. I'm gonna stick with that same <clears throat> dumbbell. Eight seconds here. I know, we're just getting warmed up. Three, high plank position, two, one, here we go team. Remember those hands underneath our shoulders as we pull from the left and to the right with our dumbbell. Good, make sure to keep our core nice and tight. Keeping those hands underneath our shoulders. For the most support, our feet, our shoulder width apart as well. If not, maybe they're a little wider to help with stability. Keep those hips square to the floor here. Nice controlled movement, out an eight, five, last three, two, one, and recover, recover, recover. All right, team, you have 15 seconds here. We're gonna go ahead and grab that second dumbbell because we have a sumo squat with a bicep curl at the top. Five seconds here. All right, team, we are Running through this first round, go ahead and pick up that weight. We're in two, one, sumo squat here. Feet are wider than shoulder width apart. 
my dumbbells are pressed together because I'm curling at the top of that movement here. So my elbows are just pinned right in front of my torso. Good. With that sumo squat, you feel a little bit of a lower glute activation. Your feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Good, really drive up through your heels. Keeping that chest up. Last seven, six, good job. Add in last rep here, two, one, and time. Good, good job, good job. <laughs> All right, team. <clears throat> Four point hold with an alternating leg kick back in 10 seconds. Remember this one again, your hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders, your knees, are gonna be underneath your hips. You're on your toes here in four, three, two, one. Up into that four plank hold. My left leg extends back for a moment, pauses, and then I alternate left leg and right leg. My start position is a nice flat back. My hips are square to the floor. My knees are underneath my hips. My hands are underneath my shoulders. My head is locked down, looking in, looking to the floor here. Good, good, good. Control these movements. Sometimes slower is better. In this case, it puts us in a nice controlled situation. Five seconds here. Finish it out. Out in three, two, one, and time. Recover, recover here. 60 seconds of recovery to be exact. Hydrate here. Now would be a great time to grab that water, hydrate, and then look forward to that next round. That was round one. We have three more rounds of the same. All right, team. So now we know the movements. This is a great time to really think about if there's any room for progression. If we can scale up the weight, if we can scale up the tempo, now is the time to think about that in this next 30 seconds while we recover. <sighs> Sergeant Barry, how's our special guest? She's good. She's hiding right now, so <laughs> she might join uh, us later. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. 10 seconds here. Split squat with that overhead press. Grab that one dumbbell that we would choose. We are up in five. My right leg is forward. My left leg is back. My left hand has the dumbbell, and we are working, team. We are down into that split squat with that overhead press. Find that tempo that's comfortable for you. Really drive up to that front heel. Five seconds here, and we're gonna switch hands and legs. Two, one. All right, let's switch that leg here. Switch that arm with that dumbbell. Left leg is forward, right leg is back, right hand. Arm has the weight. Good, nice controlled movements as always with the weight that we have. Last five seconds here, three, two, one, and recover. Good job. All right, Beef Nation, I see us. Sticking with that one dumbbell, 10 seconds of recovery here. Catch our breath. We are in that high plank position, plank pulls coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team high plank. Set ourselves up with our foot placement. As always, you want a nice strong foundation and we're pulling to the left and to the right. Remember, we can scale back, scale on our knees here. Keep working, hands underneath our shoulders as well and continue to pull that weight from the left and the right off of our knees. Okay, team, last 18 seconds here. If you don't have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and reach for that opposite hip. Right hand, left hip, left hand, right hip. Keep a nice strong core, hips are square to the floor. Five seconds, out in three, two, one, and time, good job. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Grab that second dumbbell if you have it. Sumo squat with a bicep curl. If you do not have any dumbbells, make that nice strong fist for us, all right? We are up in three seconds here, grab that weight too. One, all right team, here we go. Sumo squats, control that weight going down. Really extend up into that standing position. Good. Think about our knee placement as well with our sumo squats and our foot placement, our toe placement. If they're flared out just a little bit, our knees should be tracking in that direction as well. 
Good. Out in 10. Good. Really controlling our weight here. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job, team. <clears throat> Good job. There's our third and final resistance work. We have that last and final exercise here. Four plank hold coming up in six. We are on deck here. Three, two, one, four point here. Raise those hips up just a little bit, extending out opposite and alternate legs here. Good, really keep those hips square to the floor here. Core is nice and tight. Our knees are just about an inch or two off the floor, right? For that nice flat back, really tabletop position, if you will. Focus on our breathing. Nice deep breaths in, last 10 seconds. Hold it with me, hold it with us. Last three, two, last rep here, finish it out. And time, good job, good job, recover. Absolutely. I know we haven't done many of the four point holds. It's been a little while since we've done those deep nation. <laughs> uh, challenging for sure. <clears throat> good, good. It's always nice to mix things up. I know it's always nice to put our bodies through a different situation, but it's not far off from anything that we could really do, you know, outside of the gym as well, <clears throat> if you think about that movement. So applying that type of position and <clears throat> quality of form to anything that we do outside of the gym, from getting up from the floor or whether it's playing with kids or doing any type of sporting events, you know, these, <clears throat> these movements are very functional and very, uh, they transfer well outside of our BFIT Live program. So good job team, good job. There we go. All right, team, let's grab that weight. We are back on deck in five, three, two, one. My right leg is, my left leg is forward this time. My right leg is back. I'm extending up and out. Good. We are switching feet, legs and arms in four, three, Two. All right, team, let's switch. My right leg is forward, my left leg is back. Balancing, finding that balance. Again, hand extended out or on hip. Good. Out in three, two, last rep here. And time, recover here, recover, recover. Get ready for those plank pulls coming up. Good job, team, good job. Stay with us here. Good, five seconds here in that high plank position, off our knees, on our high plank, touching our hips, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock here. Good, work through this one nice and slow. Find that pace that's challenging, but yet comfortable for us, all right team. We're into that high plank position. Let's go ahead and hold that high plank position. We have 20 seconds left. Move that pole if we need. Drop to our knees if we need, but keep working. 10 seconds here. Whew. Out in six. Good job, team. Last three, two, last rep, and time. Good job. There you go. Set yourself up here for that second dumbbell for our sumo squat with a bicep curl. All right, team, we are round three. We are in round three, cruising right through it. Nice quick rest here. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Sumo squat with that bicep curl, the very top of your movement. Control your weight on the way down. Good. Really sit back into that curl. Sit back into that squat. Good. Take our time with our resistance training. Really think about our form. Spine is straight. Our gaze is forward. Our hips get pushed back. Our knees are tracking over our toes. Last three, two, one, last rep and time. Good job, recover here, recover here. 
find our breath, grab that water if we need. We have 10 seconds of recovery and then we have a four point hold with that alternate leg kick back. Here we go team, out in five, up in five. Three, two, one, here we go. Four point stance, four point hold, extending that right leg out. It's really forcing us to stabilize, right? Really kind of adding in a little bit of disruption into that four point hold. Activate that glute as you extend out. Good, giving yourself a pause at the top, right? A pause at that extension. That back is flat. Once again, keep that back and those hips low. Our knees are just underneath our hips, our hands underneath our shoulders. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and recover. Good job, team, recover. <laughs> good, good. How are we doing? How are we feeling, VFit Nation? Good, 60 seconds here. It's a great time for us to kind of regroup, see, see how we feel to go into that last and final round. If there's any type of movements that we need to do to feel, make ourselves feel more comfortable, now's the time, team. Good job. Stay with us here, 30 seconds here to catch our breath and to go into that last and final round with all of your energy, with all of your effort here. All right, team, this is, a, this is a time. This is a time to scale up if we can. This is a time to really focus, really dial it in. 15 seconds here, split squat with a press coming up. In 10, let's get ready here. My right leg is forward, my left leg is back. You're up in five. Last round. Last round, Sergeant Barry. That means it's our best round, Roy. Ah, it. There it is. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Let's get it, let's work. 40 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds with our left arm pressing up. And then we will alternate here in five seconds. Last three, two, one, go ahead and give me that alternate arm is up. That alternate leg is back and we continue to work. Good. Really pushing those hips back, 90 degree bend on that front leg. Nice strong overhead press. Last three, two, one, and recover for those plank pulls. All right, good job. Way to press through those, way to press through, pun intended. Uh, here we go team five seconds here gather ourselves we're up in three two one let's go nice strong core here nice strong core moving that plank <laughs> moving that dumbbell from side to side drop to our knees if we have to reach for those hips if we have to alternate hand alternate hip 20 seconds team Keep working, set our next tone for the week here, pushing through when it gets a little bit challenging, when it gets a little tough. Last 10 seconds, keep those hips square to the floor. Nice strong core, flat back, out in three, two, one, and time, good job. Woo, good work, good work. Way to finish through that one. Good job, sumo squat, bicep curl. Eight seconds. Set ourselves up here. We're up in five, three, one. Here we go. Sumo squats, strong bicep curl here. Keeping that chest up as we drop those hips back and down. Good. Nice combo movement here. Good team, stay with us here. 15 seconds and we are out. Last and final round, BFit Nation, out in 10 seconds. Where are we at team? Out in five. Last three, drive through those heels, two, one, and time. Good job, way to finish that one out. Put those dumbbells away because you won't need them again for this workout. Last and final movement here, that four point hold with that alternate leg kickback. Good job, good job. All right, Steven, let's go. Add on two, one. Here we go, team. Four point hold, alternate leg kickback. Let's go. 40 seconds on the clock. 
Really think about that pause as you extend that leg out. Try to keep those hips, keep those knees underneath our hips, our hands underneath our shoulders. Nice compact movement here. Nice flat back, our head is looking down, down to the floor. Good, last 15 seconds team. That kickback is going straight out, engaging our glute when we kick out. Last five seconds, hold it. Three, two, hold it. One, and time. <laughs> Good job, BFIT Nation. Give yourselves a round of applause because that was a good one. That was a tough one. Good, good, good. As we recover, as we settle ourselves, settle our breath, get our breathing back under control. Great work today. I just want to shout out all of our BFIT Nation community for tracking with us, staying with us, just be mindful of our active lifestyle we, that we are choosing to continue to move on throughout the weeks, right? Throughout the weeks. I know our years are challenging between this year, last year, or any given year for that matter, but it's, things are challenging, but showing up, putting in the effort, just a little effort at a time, right? Whatever you can give us, that is going to build, that's going to compound and get stronger as the weeks go on. So as you stay with us throughout these BFIT Live programmed workouts, that's the idea, right? To get stronger as a team, to get stronger as a community. And just know that our BFIT program with our exchange stores, online, in-store, at our express stores, we're all here to help you, right? To help you live a healthier lifestyle, a better version of yourself is what we are trying to achieve here with our BFIT Live programs. So good on all of us, all right? Thanks so much. Sergeant Barry, let's check in. Sergeant Barry, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good, right? I gotta remember to breathe through sometimes. <laughs> when it gets tough, I catch myself almost not breathing, like holding my breath. So now I know what to work on. Um, and I just want to echo what you said. Thank you, BFIT Nation, for always joining us. Um, it's always a pleasure to have such great company to work out with. So thank you, everyone. And Roy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Absolutely. And I, again, we're a community, one team, one fight, and we're here to help support each other throughout our journey to help reach our goals, whichever, whatever our goals may be. This is what we're here for, to help encourage each other. So make sure and share this Facebook Live workout with your friends, with your family, with your spouses, to help keep each other accountable, right? One family, one team, one community here. So again, here to help as a support network, if you will, uh, to help encourage and motivate them. And if you need any additional workouts, we have you covered, all right? Look at our Facebook page, head on over to our playlist and you'll see a BFIT Live playlist where we have all of our year plus workout catalog right there for you. So you can browse through every single workout. And I can tell you, every workout has been different for this year uh, on, this year, this year and a month's uh, worth of our BFIT Live uh, workouts, they've all been completely different. So whether it's cardio-based movements or resistance-based movements or at-home movements or just body weight, um, we have you covered here on our Exchange BFIT Live programs team. All right, as well as if YouTube is your thing, head over to our YouTube page on Shop My Exchange and uh, hit up our BFIT Live playlist there, cataloged as well. So if YouTube is easier for you to access, share those YouTube uh, videos as well. All right, team. Uh, well, that should wrap up our BFIT Live program for today. I hope you enjoyed. Leave us a note in the comment as to which movement, which exercise was your favorite. Uh, Stacy, great work today. I'm so glad that you're feeling great and um, have an awesome day as well, Stacy. All right, team. Well, signing off here, uh, myself, Roy Montes, Senior Master Sergeant Barry. Uh, we hope you have a great day, great rest of the week. Way to start off nice and strong. And we, see, we will see you again on our next BFIT Live program. Bye.